Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to the kitchen, guys. We are doing a very, very quick breakfast meal prep. All right, so the first thing we're going to start off with, guys, is making an egg casserole. I'll be using a package of uh, chorizo. Now, this is a chorizo sausage, turkey sausage, already seasoned. Now, guys, this is my lazy keto. I've told you I've got a ton going on in my life, so I'm trying to make things that are quick and easy. This is specifically for David and Matthew. Matthew follows low carb. David is in maintenance. In fact, he's about three pounds under his goal right now. So he is doing wonderfully. So what I've done is I've taken a pound of this chorizo, turkey sausage chorizo. If you don't have any in your area, just get some sausage and get some chorizo, half a pound of each. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some pork jowl drippings, probably about a full tablespoon. Here we go. A recent haul, you will have seen some cheese curds that were from Aldi's. These are jalapeno cheese curds. I'm gonna add about half a package of them to my mixture. I'll be adding half a package. We're just gonna see how these melt up or if they do melt up. If they don't, it's not a big deal, guys. I'm not gonna be all that worried or concerned. Who might, who would complain about a big chunk of cheese in their eggs? Not me. And just for grins, here's what the package looks like, guys. Again, this is from Aldi's. It's cheese curds, jalapeno flavored. Any cheese you have on hand will do. That was a 12 ounce container, so we have approximately six ounces mixed in with our chorizo. Next goes in 18 eggs. And at this point, guys, you can stop right here, cook it up, and you'll be done. Of course, adding in salt and pepper as well. Um, however, I'm gonna go ahead and make it to the likings of my family. And I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of pico de gallo. And then guys, just cook until it's done. Okay guys, it is time to make our pork jowl. You see, I'm using something different. Now this is a microwave safe pan for cooking baking. Now I did go ahead and spray this. We're gonna cover it. I have no idea how many minutes we're supposed to cook this in the microwave, but we're gonna start off with two minutes and 22 seconds. All right guys, two minutes and 22 seconds later, here's what it looks like. Hot, hot, hot. Now, while that does not look like the bacon, the crispy bacon that I normally enjoy, hi, Bully Trash Man's here. Bully's getting upset. He's a great guard dog, guys. While it's not the, what I would typically cook mine to look like, it did go at least fast. So, who knows, we might flip this and then cook it for another two minutes, see how it looks. All right, guys, another two minutes in. Here's how it looks. Very hot, yummy perfection. Four minutes and it's done. It's about the same amount of time it would take me in my air fryer for this many pieces. So I don't know if it's a better way or not. We'll see. An update on our eggs. Aren't they looking good, guys? Yummy, It'll be ready soon. Right, guys, here we go. Breakfast meal prep is done. This should last a good four days at least. There's 18 eggs in there, so you divide that by three. You should have you should have at least six servings here, unless of course it's a 20 year old, then you never know. Also here is the bacon. Let me tell you what I liked about using this microwave uh, plate for cooking my bacon, is that the big chunks that I cut up myself, you see how it left so much of the fat content in place? Yeah, and when you, <laughs> this is the kind of bacon that when you chew into it, like the fat just kind of sticks to your teeth because it's just so rich. Oh my gosh, so good. Again, guys, someone shared with me that they too got a batch of very salty product. I don't know what the difference is. The label does not indicate that it's extra salt or anything. So need to see if I can reach out to the Smithville folks and see what's going on with that. But other than that, if you get a good batch, it's delicious. Then here are the eggs with chorizo and cheese, as well as a little bit of pico de gallo. This is how much fat 
was rendered from all that bacon. And I have some leftover sausage from a recipe and I went ahead and cooked those up and uh, there we go. Breakfast meal prep. Well, all right guys, so tell me what the favorite thing is for your breakfast meal preps. All right guys, have a blessed day, bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I, po I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.